Hey guys! So, sorry it's been a while since I uploaded a video. I, as most of you I'm sure know if you saw my Instagram or the YouTube community posts, I had gone to visit my family in Washington. You can see me gesturing in the shadow there. Um, and I got COVID not long after returning, so I wasn't feeling super great for a good week there, but I am doing better and I wanted to share what I've been up to lately with my altar. So it used to be that my altar was this little um, oval shaped coffee table that belonged to my husband's grandparents. And while I did like it, it did allow me to have the space that I needed up on the top here. It just wasn't doing it for me for storage. So. I had been perusing the Facebook marketplace and the used, like my thrift, my local thrift stores and garage sales and stuff because that's usually how I prefer to get things. And I found this for a steal and it is exactly what I was looking for. So um, I thought that I would kind of take you guys on a fun little altar tour because I've done some other fun things too. Um, also, sorry for the lighting. I wanted to do this during the day, but my children make that difficult. You can see me there. Um, this is my little divination cabinet. I know I've showed this to you guys before. This is another like used Facebook marketplace thing that I found for like $15. And up there is my spirit board, and that is my drinking horn. And then I have my Tassio Graphy Cups and tarot decks and a Lenormand and in that box is the first tarot deck that I've ever owned and then I have like a pendulum board, my wand, a tarot card stand, the Oracle of Freya and then there is in that box there behind Freya herself is my runes. So here is Freya and over here is Hell. I had just gotten this too at a store it actually came up to like a triangle on each side and I kind of I wanted to use it as like a riser for one of my deities so I just had my husband saw and sand these two pieces on each side that had come up so now she sits there and I have this cloth for summer solstice and I have Craig and Odin and this is a new incense burner that I got recently. There's a police car. <laughs> um, this is a jewelry box that I actually found. There's also a cat fur attached to my finger. Um, at a church sale, of all things. And I found it for 10 cents. And I took it home and I cleaned it up and I painted it. <laughs> so I'm still going to paint something witchy on the top, but I'm not sure what yet, so I figured I'd just leave it for now, um, wait for the inspiration to get to me. But this, I did, I took off the hardware and I spray painted it silver and then I spray painted it, the rest of it black, but this is like a little spell cabinet. I also took paper and put it in the bottom here, I don't know how well you can see, but Here's some herbs that I very commonly use, and candles. I think I'll show, actually this one will be the best to show the paper that I put in the bottom. It's glued in there with uh, some Mod Podge. Um, it's the first time I've ever used Mod Podge was some this, so that was interesting. So let me just stand up and back up here for a minute to give you guys a little bit better look at this. Um, this thing is exactly what I was looking for. I cannot stop just being obsessed with it, basically. Um, so it has, in the back here, it has a, it has hinges and there's like a cabinet that lifts up and it goes all the way down and all the way along the table here. And I actually put all of my herbs down there just because I don't get to them super often. So I figured, It'd be kind of a pain in the butt to get to them when I want them, but it's I usually 
have like a working in mind when I'm working with herbs and I'm doing s very specific things. So, um, this is my really cool rug and my hippie pants. <laughs> That's what I like to call them because they're tie-dye and they have like daisies and peace signs on them. Um, so I think this hardware is too cool. In here I have oils. These little drawers are so freaking cool. They go back like way far too. Um, as you can see. I might consolidate these. Sorry, that's my cat going after a bug. Um, because it's flying up against the window and she's obsessed. I might consolidate these two drawers together. Um, down here, to be careful with this one because my son kind of messed with it a little, is more candles, fireproof dishes. I have this, um, box from Washington that has my crystals and stuff in it. And I have some other things in here, like we're another my first set of runes and a negative notebook. I know I've talked about that. That thing's cool. Um, this is a jar I made for Odin. Some extra candles. Uh, my other drinking horn. This is... I've had this for a really long time. Um, it's just a little Chinese jar. And inside I keep all of the little tiles that I get from the Morning Star incense because it's my favorite type of incense. <laughs> I want to take like, I want to make like a, a mosaic out of it or something at some point. But we'll see. Um, but I've been collecting those for like <laughs> over a decade. Uh, probably closer to two <laughs> at this point. Uh, this one has flowers I am hiding from my cat because she steals things. Much like my cat Luna used to. <laughs> if you've been watching my channel for a while, you will remember my other cats that just passed away um, this last year. But uh, yeah, so in here is all more candle stuff. I've got um, like a uh, chime spell candles back there, and then these are like more fireproof plates and dishes and things like that. Gently put that back in there. Oh no! Um, this one has my reading cloth and some incense that I very commonly burn for offerings and cleansing. In this cloth here is my athame that I've had. This was like the first witchy tool I ever bought myself. Um, I bought it in like 2002, 2001, before I had to get my brother to buy it because I wasn't 18. Um, this is my crudely made poppet and this is rabbit skin that, rabbit for this eth ethically sourced. Um, but it has a uh, Yggdrasil painted on the back of it, and it's a rune casting cloth. Um, in this one, there is more like boxes with various bits and bobs and a cauldron and that kind of stuff. Um, the rest of these are actually some of my tarot and oracle decks. So, there's hardware missing from that one. I have to replace it. And here is more. Actually, this is how I have to open it <laughs> right now. Um, and voila. Um, and then over there is some sort of, is a little bit of overflow. Um, here is a rock that is from Lake Superior that I painted. And then, um, actually, I want to show you guys this because it's cool. This is a rock from the Puget Sound that I'm going to paint too. So, um, this is my, like, I like to call it my art cart. So, that stuff in there. <laughs> um, this, these are the tarot decks that I have that are in, like, larger boxes. This box I actually bought. It's a little, it was a little jewelry box, and I actually gutted it and put this paper in here um, to house antique tarot deck that I bought but the deck doesn't fit so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with that um a few more decks that are just larger boxes and then back there is my uh, tassiography like the plates are stored in there so they don't break um, this little soapstone box has some more of those little crystal chips in the jars thing this is my travel altar that was made by my friend Trish and right there is um, tarot deck, like tarot guidebooks, basically. And yeah, my art cart. 
witchy books with McGonagall and Sailor Pluto. <laughs> That is my ancestral altar, which I know I've showed you guys recently. I did add a few new things to it, um, which I suppose I could show you guys really quick. I know I just did an ancestral altar tour, but um, I added my two great uncles, which are, that's my great grandmother, so those are her sons. And then I also decided to add Pamela Coleman Smith on my altar, the ancestral altar. So she hangs out there too. But then there's, you know, mostly like my mom's side, my mother, grandfather. Um, but yeah, anyway, I showed that in my last video. So actually, this is another addition I wanted to quickly mention. This is a gigantic vanilla candle that randomly was in my grandparents' things in a box that I had taken back from Washington when I went to visit. Um, I took the box mostly because it was photo albums and I wanted them, but this candle was just randomly in there. And I cannot smell vanilla without thinking of my grandparents, because they are always printing vanilla candles. So it's just, and it's a very like distinct type of vanilla. It's hard to describe, but yeah, that's it. And I thought it was really funny, so I'm gonna carve stuff into it. But anyway, um, I just wanted to share with you guys this really cool altar that I had found. There's my pillow. And um, I was just very excited about this. It was absolutely exactly what I was looking for and I am beyond thrilled. Oh, another really quick thing before I go. In this little cabinet here that I got from the Witch's Moon uh, a few years back. There it goes. I have, I found these recently too and there's another one up there too, but I'm not going to try to grab it right now. Um, I am obsessed with skeleton keys, and I have been since I was a kid. I used to have some from actually one of my uncles that's pictured on my ancestral altar there, but I don't. It got they got lost in the many moves that I've moved throughout my life. So when I was garage sailing and thrifting recently, I found some skeleton keys for a really inexpensive price, and was super thrilled. I just realized it wasn't like on there. <laughs> um, was very thrilled about that and wanted to share with you guys because I thought you would find that amusing as well. But anyway, thank you guys for coming to my little altar tour here. Um, thank you for watching. As always, love and be.